Good morning, good morning, good morning. This is Minister Dr. Tucker back at you with a word. Thank you, Father God, for another wonderful day, man. I have a wonderful word for you this morning. And all you, by the way, I don't have the copyright for the the, uh, the music that, that you're hearing in the background. We get we need to hound that now before they stop the video or whatever. You know how it is. But, oh, uh, man, I have a wonderful word for you today. And it's going to be a very short word. But I want to speak into your life this morning. I want to speak into your life this morning because always remember everybody's going through something right now. I'm not jumping over no poor piss. I'm not doing it and screaming and hollering and running around my with my head on fire because I ain't got no hair. So you know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> you know, but I'm so excited this morning for this word that I'm gonna give you. And I just want you to receive this word. Yes, you know where I'm coming from. You know the word. I need you to go with me into the book of Joel. Yes, chapter two. Yeah, we that's where we're going. Because I, I want to say this to you. Everybody's going through something. Everybody's going through something. Whether it's groceries, whether it's gas, whether they bills, in their health, whether it's spiritual, well, maybe it's mental, whatever. I'm talking about everybody's going through something. There is an attack upon, I'm talking about there is an attack upon this nation. Because anytime you take this, if you take God out of something, it will not work. Let me say it to you again. Anytime you take God out of a situation, it will not work. Mm. Come on, Holy Ghost. So I, I got a word of encouragement for you this morning because we all going through. And people are always speaking into people's lives, but I want you, I'm going to speak it into your life and I want you to share this word. You know what I'm saying? The, the word of God, he said, love, uh, he said, love your neighbor as you love yourself. Check on one another. See about one another. I, don't, I ain't got time to be fooling with folks. Man, do you realize that sometimes people become a victim because they refuse to do what God commanded them to do. He commanded us to see about one another. He commanded us to love one another. So today, I'm going to see about you. Show live. I'm going to speak into your life. And when I get through reading what I'm going to read, all I want you to do is a few things. And when you do it, the blessing of God will be upon your life. It's the blessing. When you share the word of God, it's the blessing. But I, I, God just forgot about me. And you know what I'm saying? Obedience is better than sacrifice. People are so hard here in nine days to what the blessing be upon their life and then pow, then it's gone because they, they missed that one little thing. Yes, let me say it again. They missed that one little thing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, boy, coffee so good this morning. Mm. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. Can't nobody do me like Jesus. Mm. Certain songwriter said that. Are right, you there? Joel chapter two. Allow me to speak into your life today and receive this. Joel chapter two, verse 25 and 26. And it reads, so I will restore to you the years that the swarming locust has eaten, the crawling locust, the consuming locust, and the chewing locust, my great army, which I sent among you. Mm. Restoration. I speak restoration in your life. I speak restoration in your life and praise the name. I'm saying, and you shall eat in plenty and be satisfied. He said, you shall eat plenty and be satisfied. He's saying the groceries, the groceries in the grocery store, a, a, a loaf of bread might cost $10. <laughs> I'm just playing, you know, I'm just, I'm just cutting up back to but every food is expensive. Gas is going up. People say, oh, gas don't went down. Try traveling 50 miles every day. For try to traveling a hundred miles a day, it, it, it averages out about the same. It's still high. You know what I'm saying? Let me read 26 to you again. He said, "You shall eat in plenty and be satisfied." I'm speaking it into your life. He said he never seen the righteous forsaken or seed begging for bread. Come on, Holy Ghost. Okay. And it says that, and praise the name of the Lord your God. That's all you got to do. 26 again. I got, I got, this is the blessing. This is the, I, I, I'm excited about it. I mean, listen, listen, you shall eat plenty and be satisfied and praise the name of the Lord, your God. All you got to do is praise the name of your, the Lord, your God. See, that's what I'm saying. I don't have to be on here 30, 40 minutes to, to, to give you this. I'm talking about the blessing is in the pressing. I'm talking about, and I'm going, and I want, and I'm going to press you. I'm going to challenge you to share this word because I'm telling you, since I spoke it, I spoke it into your life. This morning, this is the blessing. Share this word. You know, people walk around all the time like they're the victim of something. Don't be the victim of not being blessed. 
This is the blessing. This is the restoration. Everything that he said, everything that is swarming locusts, the crawling locusts, the consuming locusts, the chewing locusts, they have spent. He said, He's gonna restore you. Mm. He said, You shall eat plenty and be, be satisfied. All you got to do is praise the name of your God, the Lord your God. I'm speaking into your life. This I'm going to praise him. I'm going to shout. They might call the police. I might put my music on this. Well, I don't know what time it is anymore. I don't even look at the clock anymore. The time moves so fast. <laughs> I'm telling y'all, I'm, I'm excited about this word this morning. And I want you to get excited with me. I want you to get excited with me about this word. And I'll speak the blessing in your life. This, I'm, I'm speaking into your life. Joel chapter 2, verses 25 through 26. I speak it over your life and I speak it over your family. But the Bible, but the Bible says obedience is better than sacrifice. If you think I'm praying with you, okay, we we finna find out. I challenge you to send this to folks. I challenge you to send this to people. I ain't got time, okay? Well, it is what it is. You know, I'm saying, as the world said, it is what it is in your life. I'm going to share this video. I'm going to give it to some people. I'm going to text it to some people because I like speaking over people's lives. We have no time to be victims. Well, I just, God ain't hearing from me. Obedience, I'm going to say it again. Obedience is better than sacrifice. People will be writing to my, well, I ain't, I, God ain't, I ain't, I don't know him. I ain't got to share nothing. Do what you do. Do what you do. <laughs> That's all I'm going to tell you, do what you do. I want to speak a blessing over your life. I love you and I care about you and I want to see you make it. Everybody going through something. Mentally, physically, socially, spiritually, financially. In every situation, every circumstance, in every need and area in life, everybody's going through something. So I want to speak this in your life. I want to give you this word. I want you to share this word. I want you to hit like. And if you haven't subscribed to Minister Doc Tucker yet, man, subscribe and, and hit the notification. And whenever I'm online, give me that word that you will receive a notification from me because I because I'm going to give you this word. I'm not going to give you anything else but the word. And it's going this word always going to be tied to something or whatever it's going to be tied to. It's always going to be the truth. So that's what I'm saying to you this morning. It's not a long message. I want to encourage you in the Lord this morning. And I want to encourage you to share Joel chapter 2, verse 25 and 26. And I challenge you. I challenge you. And I'm going to say it again. What have you been believing God for for this week? Share this word. Clear your mind and your heart. Father God, we come back before you this morning, Father God, in, in regard, Father God, and just repenting for our sins for where it thought of deed, Father, Father God. Father God, I bring the person before you, Father God, that's watching this video, Father God, right now, Father God. And as they share your word, Father God, Joel chapter 2, verse 25 and 26, Father God, whatever they've been praying about, Father God, and believe me for this week, Father God, and for their lives today, Father God. I ask you, Father God, to spark it up, Father God. I ask you to open up the windows and the doors of heaven and bless them, Father God. Father God, we, we need, Father, Father, Father God, we, Father God, we don't need just a touch, Father God. We don't need a shaking, Father God. We need, Father God, that, that, that you to enter in this atmosphere, Father God, and bless us, Father God. Shake it up, Father God, in the name of Jesus, Father God. We thank you, Father God, for this day. As they share this video, Father God, bless their families, Father God. Bless their situations and their circumstances and needs and errors in their lives, Father God. Because we all need you, Father God. Hmm. Mentally, physically, socially, spiritually, financially. We thank you, Father God. For overflowing of blessings and open up the windows and the doors of heaven, Father God. And we thank you for continuing to be a fence around us and fight for us, Father God. Fight against those who fight against us, Father God. We thank you, Father God. Mm. We love you, Father God. Lord God, we love you. We reverence you. We praise you. We honor you. So, Father God, today, as the person that's watching this video, share this, share this video, Father God, with family and friends, Father God. Father God, bless their lives, Father God. Bless it, Father God. Overflowing and overflowing, Father God. Open up their minds and hearts for signs and wonders from you, Father God. Yes, Father God. Bless them, Father God. Keep them, Father God. Wrap your other loving arms around them today, Father God. Father God, we thank you, Father God, for all that you're going to do for us today, Father God, and our families, Father God, and everything about us and even in our existence, Father God. We thank you, Father God, and just continue to give you all the praise, honor, and the glory, Father God. We thank you, Father God. Hallelujah! Thank you, Father God. 
We thank you, Father God. Mm. We thank you, Father. Give me you all the praise, honor, and the glory, Father God. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Share this video. Share this video. Share this video. Mm. Oof. Oof. Share this video. Share this video. Today, continue to keep your hands in Jesus' hands. Mm. Share this video. Continue to keep your hands in Jesus' hands. Mm. Mm. Continue to keep your hands in here. Thank you, Father God. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father God. Continue to keep your hands in Jesus' hands. Mm. Mm. Continue to pray for God's will in your life for you and your family. Continue to cast your burdens upon the Lord because the word says he shall sustain you. Yeah, and I love you. By the way, I love you. <laughs> I love you, by the way. Yeah. God bless you and your family. In the wonderful and holy and mighty name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Jesus is Lord. Share this video with a friend. Amen. Amen. And amen.